The McElroy brothers are not Hello, everybody, and welcome to My Brother and Me, an advice show for the modern era. I'm your oldest brother, Justin McElroy. I'm your middlest brother, Travis McElroy. I tried to do a normal one. I tried to think, like, how's a normal person, just normal, happy person? It doesn't need to be weird just because I feel weird. Every s- we, single... F- we're near on 500. We can't yeah, keep... we should just we be can't comfortable keep escalating. ...introducing the program. Uh, my name's Justin. I'm a person. I got brother. We do this show. I think as long as you say it as a statement of fact, rather than, I'm Travis McElroy, right? Rather than, I'm Travis McElroy, don't make it sound like a question. Statement. This is, we get, we often get into the email, like a weird thing happened to me in the bathroom. And so I would like to share my own. And I want to preface by saying it's not blue. So when, when dad and I flew into uh, the, the Los Angeles airport for the Dungeons and Dragons live stream, this was in, in the LAX bathroom. There was a, a line, a men's room line. I'm a big old bathroom pervert. It's one of those two and two. It could be both. It could be both a bathroom pervert and what I uh, simply that's what I would have done. <laughs> like I, did, the way- I, I think what they were trying to solve for is a problem that happens in men's rooms all across this great land. Um, when you go in, sometimes there's a kind of haunting, and you have to like wave. Yeah, that's no. I'm just gonna. To While be I understand that, I still stand by that there is a better way to ask that question than which one do I make dirt in? You know what? Thirty eight. That's my mm-hmm. age. Trav, you brought up uh, the Dungeons and Dragons thing. I know. <clears throat> um, I uh, uh, with a yes. mountain of a person, just square footage wise. At one point, he's locked out the sun. I'm, I'm. Listen, I'm not five ten, but I'm a fairly five ten, and I felt like he could have juggled me. I'm, I wrecked Def- it. He's like a, he's a. My regular dad. Okay. This has been so fun, but I'll just be right back. I really like this episode, but I was confused. Did that part where they fucked. But then you would worry, like, if you said, like, I thought the fucking, the rest of it. That's my bet. Like, somebody said cats or something. And uh, I can't. Uh, and they're like, oh, what's the show about? It's uh, called, uh, please help me make time. It's, we don't want people to watch it. And so it, this seems fangs punching each other. You uh, there's love scenes and really any kind of, not just perhaps other kinds of love, but what if the TV just talks? Hey, TV, please turn on picture. My mom left, but before she did, she said, around a bunch from a mix. Wait for this at all. While I appreciate uh, the the scientific nature of this question, the enjoyment of the mmm, which is just, if not more so, prior to going in your mouth. And I don't know, maybe, maybe uh, I'm in the, in the wrong here, but I think stare straight ahead after a long period of time, track what they're doing with your eyes scream in pain jump over and over again if you find somebody you're back a month later if you get 49 of them you can't work at sewer cuts without losing a few ants with the durable yet gentle springs consistently but not too much right not a wet world luxurious springs so basically in the real world anywhere or like that word complete, maybe even a box of dirt I'm supposed to shit in. Especially when you consider that one of my favorite like uh, abomination words, uh, uh, like bolognese or something, like that doesn't mean like j- with just a picture of a pizza on it. I looked it up, pizza is like the, an impossible shape to roll out into. Every one of these motherfuckers must be like hand shaped. The Venn diagram of people out there who are so excited about, like, is there, is there, how big is the overlap between, like, pizza, or I'm not sure, but only if it is so, with the dream of one day turning it into an experience, and you have not found it yet, sir. Bury it in a box of dirt where it belongs.